I'm Cynthia with Swan Soap and Such and today I'm making a special soap. Um, it's going to be honoring Nurture Soap. I'm using their fragrance Clean Laundry. It smells nice and wonderful like you would expect. And I am collaborating with Nature's Mercantile. And sh this lady, her name is Heather. She's in Auburn, Indiana. And she is making some soaps using Nurture Soap fragrances, which she loves. I haven't used them a lot, but it might be something I'll be doing in the future. And she's going to be having a special, um, uh, I guess, uh, fair on Labor Day using soaps from various soapers I'm involved and um, each soaper will have a different scent from Nurture Soap. One of Nurture Soap's representatives will be there which is awesome. So I'll just read you a little bit of what she has in her blurb here. Um, her name is Heather. She's been making soap for about 20 years on and off and she owns Nature's Mercantile in Auburn, Indiana since March 2019 and she believes soap is life not live, love, laugh kind of way or crazy everything is soap kind of way but if humans hadn't discovered soap we wouldn't have made it to where we are today but soapers make soap fun and beautiful. Yes we do. So she says she's not affiliated with Nurture Soap she's just a huge fan she loves all the scents she's ordered from Nurture Soap, so she wanted to share their collection for this event. So I'm to give her six bars of soap and using wholesale pricing, send my business cards, my bio about myself, and send them to her a month before Labor Day. So she expresses her admiration for all the soapers with wonderful talent, and so hopefully I will do her great honor and make a wonderful soap using clean laundry from Nurture Soap which is right here. So come along with me and we'll make some soap. Okay so I have all my oils melted and these are the colors I'm going to be using. Caribbean Blue by Nurture Soap. I just love this one too. Peacock from Mad Micah's. Blue Vibrance from Nurture Soap. It's just a lovely blue. Got my fragrance here. Um, clean laundry with some kale and clay. So we'll get started and blend our, our lye mixture, which I have here. I put organic sugar in my lye. So I have that. We'll give it a little mix. Let me get a paper towel. So I'm not dripping lye everywhere. Okay. Here we go. And let's see, what temperature am I at? Get my thermometer out here. And we're at 80, 82, which is what I love. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we're going to... I got a little lilac. Let me strain this. I just don't want any lilac in here if I can get away with it. It just does show up in the soap, I found. So, yeah, no, we don't want that. Out. Okay, so you can see, hopefully, that little bit of lye lint. We got it out. So we'll put this all aside over here. We'll take care of that. We'll give it a little stir before we stick blend. We'll stick blend to emulsion. And then I have my micas already mixed with some olive oil. So they'll be easy to mix in. I've not used this fragrance before. I haven't looked it up on the website. I love flying by the seat of my pants. Yes, I do. My husband says that to me all the time. You just like the thrill of it, don't you? I said, I must, because I just always do that. 
Okay, well, let's mix this to emulsion. So, there is emulsion. So, now we'll get our colors out here. We've got peacock. I'll bring you back so you can see better. I'm going to use my Cheshire Cat over here. You can see in the background. So here are my three blues, and then there's going to be white in in the bucket here. So blue vibrance. We do want a good portion of each. We do want plenty of white though too, so I think I'll leave it at that. Let's mix these up. Ooh. And scraping along the bottom where my all my color was. So I think we're gonna just put some in to this blue and see how it behaves. We'll pour this blue first. And I'll bring my mold over. And I'll put these aside. Bring this mold over. So you can see it. What a luscious blue. Okay, now let's put, we want one, almost a four, not quite. So, say so there. And just stir it just a titch more. See how that does before I. Okay, we'll just let that sit. Let's bring around. It looks like it's behaving pretty good. If it thickens up a little, we do want it a little thick. So, so another about almost a quarter. In there. Then let's bring over this Caribbean blue and put it a little bit in there. Pretty strong smelling. Clean laundry. It smells a little like ozone. Ozone and I smell some kind of fruitiness. Just a little tiny bit. Okay, so let me move this over and bring my white over. We want to get the rest of this in there white. Get all of it out of this jar. Looks like we've got a good fragrance here. It's not rising. Ah, there we go. Now it's getting come into trays. Okay, so we're ready to pour some. We're going to use this container here for the white. Okay, white. Blues. Now, I'm just going to do a pour down the edge here. I have to tilt it towards me so I can see it. You can still see it. So, ah, this is getting nice and thick. Okay. This looks like it's perfect. So we'll go ahead and pour this in all the way down. And we'll just keep doing that until we run out of soap. 
Although it is starting to thicken up really a lot. So we'll just pour this one down. Nice. It does accelerate just a little bit. We didn't stick blend it and it is accelerating. So that's what we wanted. We wanted to see it. And our white, of course. We want the white in there. I'm going to have to pour some more. Oh. Didn't get any over here. So, maybe I should tilt this back just a little. No, we'll wait. Pour the blue in. Good. It's a nice peacock. Good. Get a good chunk of this blue. Good. Not my mess. Put in some more of this white, which is really thickening up a lot. And then we're dripping out. Let me tell you. And we'll do the blue again. Pushing that back. Yeah, that's better. And the turquoise. Pushing that back. Good. Making a mess, of course. Okay, so then we need the light blue again. Push that back. Ooh, that blue, light blue has got a nice shimmer to it. Now let me scrape out the rest of this white into this smaller container. Let's pour some of that white in and push that back. Okay, then we'll do this blue again, right along the edge, pushing everything back. It's just thickening up quite a bit, so yeah, it accelerates all right. So we have a little bit left. Let's put some more of that in there. I want some for the top, but not too much. Okay, and I'm going to stir it a little. Okay, put it in here and push that back, hopefully. Pushy, pushy. I'm going to put some more in there. Sorry about the back of my container. Ooh, it got real thick. That's what I was figuring. It probably did. It smells good enough to accelerate. Okay. It's blue. Okay. It's blue. Mm -hmm. Them up here, push that back, go back, go back. Probably set it down now. Okay, and then we'll get the white on the top. Excellent, that worked out. Up. And we'll hang it down. And we'll get 
get the rest of the weight on there. this white in here. Oops. I did use a blue spatula for the white, so it's going to have some blue in there, but that's okay. We're going to mix it all up anyway. Okay, so let's get this white situated. Nice on the top. Clean laundry. Does clean laundry have glitter on top? I don't know. Hi everybody, we're ready to cut clean laundry, came out beautiful, nice and hard, so let's go ahead and cut this soap. Mm -hmm. 